Today I'll be showing you four ways that you can spice up your six transitions. So I am here in my premiere where I prepared the four titles that you saw in the intro where I will be showing four simple yet very elegant six transitions. This first one is called Rough and Edges because it utilizes an effect called Rough and Edges here under Stylize. Just apply that and basically what we play around with here is the border. So this one basically changes how much you can see. So I'm going to go to the start of my title, enable keyframes on border. And I'm going to crank this up until I can see my text. Still see some here, so maybe something around here. I think that would be fine. This one is very slow. So I'm going to go forward two seconds and then put this down to zero. So we get this thing right now. It's beautiful, but let's maybe just ease this one out. Sorry, ease this one in. Make it very subtle, something like that. So it gets a more like smooth, smooth appearance. That's nice. Next up, I'm going to go forward just one second and uh, I'm going to transition this one out. I'm putting another keyframe, going forward more, two more seconds, then cranking it back to 285. So it also transitions out. So we have this thing going on right now and just notice that it is using the ease in and ease out. So we have the smooth transitions. All right, let's do the next one. This one is called mask feathering because it utilizes masks. So I am inside my title here. I'm going to click on this one, create four point polygon mask. And I'm just going to drag it up here a little bit, something like that. And I am going to turn up the feather to something like 300. That is beautiful. I'm going to go to the start of my title here where it meets. You can always do that just by holding down shift and pressing the up or down arrow to navigate between your cuts. I'm going to enable keyframes on mask expansion. I'm going to go forward two seconds. I'm going to do some mask expansion until it reveals the text. And I want even the feathered mask to reveal it. So something like that, right? Now we have this thing going on. I think this is just super cinematic and beautiful. And I'm going to go forward one second. Let the text be on screen for one second. And I'm just going to reverse it. Forward two seconds now. Bring the mask expansion to zero. I'm not going to do anything to the keyframes because I think it actually looks pretty well just with the linear keyframes. But as you can see, this is so beautiful. The next one is called Block Dissolve. You find it here on the video effects. Transition and Block Dissolve. And I think this is quite an underutilized effect. It's kind of similar to the Dissolve one, the Rough and Edges one, but this one uses blocks kind of. I'm going to start by changing to Block Width and Block Height to 15. So now it's maybe more clear to see what it does, but it creates these blocks, almost creates this digital type of look. So I'm going to turn it up to 100. We're going to go to the start of our title. Enable keyframes and go forward one second. It's beautiful. I'm going to turn this down to zero. So now we get this thing going on, but it takes kind of gets created from nothing. As you can see, it's quite beautiful. I think this is very underutilized. All right. It's going to be on the screen for one second. And we are going to transition it out. So put another keyframe and then just go to the end of your clip, something like that. Turn it back up to 100. So now we get this thing going on. You can play around with stuff like soft edges if you want to. Maybe click this off, then you get this even more digitalized look. But yeah, this one is super easy and quick. I'm just going to ease in and ease out from these two and do the same for these. So it's not like so linear. Take a look now. It's actually quite a beautiful effect. The last one is maybe somewhat, not so much a transition, but more quick way you can do some really cool motion graphics in Premiere, which really makes it look like you know what you're doing. So you have your text here and in your text now you want to draw a square, something like this. This is beautiful. I'm going to go to window and I'm going to go to essential graphics. Let me just make this bigger so you can see what is going on. Right, that is fine. I'm in my essential graphics with my new square selected. I am just going to center it. That is beautiful. 
Now I am going to go into the position of my shape and I'm just going to change the X axis to get it here to where I want it to end. So some, somewhere around here. I'm going to draw a square. So that is quite beautiful. I'm going to click mask with shape. That's beautiful. Next up, I'm going to go up to here, pin two with my mask selected, shape three, and I'm going to click this one, select which edges. So it's all edges. Basically what this does is now if we change the position of our new object, basically the mask will follow, right? So that's pretty beautiful. So I'm going to go to the start of our title and I'm going to drag the position out to somewhere around here. I'm going to go forward 10 frames and this is where we want to start the animation. I think the animation should last for 20 frames. So I'm going 20 frames forward and I'm going to reveal the text. So something like that, that is beautiful. We have this thing going on. Beautiful. We can make this a little bit more smooth. On our, I guess it's a square, we can maybe opacity it in so it is not visible from the beginning just by using some keyframes and the opacity. So now we get this thing going on. We can maybe ease in and ease out the opacity as well as the position keyframes so it's a lot more smooth that's beautiful and maybe just to mix it up a little bit so now it's been on screen for a little bit we can maybe just opacity the entire text out over one second something like that sorry let's do it to the entire vector so this one is the one i'm looking for Taking the stopwatch, going forward one second, and then turning down the opacity. So we affect the opacity on on all the objects in our in our graphics at once. Take a look now. This is quite beautiful. But anyways, that was the four uh, text transitions I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new and use these because they are really easy and they can do so much to your videos. But uh, if you made it to this point in the video, consider dropping a like and uh, maybe even subscribing to my channel. And uh, if you really want to, feel free to leave a comment letting me know which type of tutorial you'd like to see next. But anyways, take care guys. Bye bye.